Okay, so I know we had a little bit of an introductory video, but I want to go through the box of ingredients uh, really quick for everybody. Um, we're going to go through the, um, this will be two separate videos. We're going to go through the peanut butter entremet first, so we'll get go through all those kind of ingredients. And then we're going to go through the pavlova uh, ingredients um, in a separate, vid separate video, but the link will just be right here. So um, in our box, there are the ingredients for the peanut butter fouillotine. Uh, this is the fouillotine itself sure my mic's okay. The fouillotine itself, and then we have the peanut butter and milk chocolate that are together. Remember, you cannot melt things in these containers, so take this out, melt it in your microwave, and then you can stir in your fouillotine, and you can roll that out in between the acetate sheets that you should already have at home. Um, made some pastry, or, uh, pastry cream ahead of time, peanut butter pastry cream. All this is is pastry cream launched with a whole bunch of peanut butter at the end. If you think about peanut butter and pastry cream, they essentially have the same kind of texture. Um, and so that'll, that'll fold really nicely into your mousse. There is no gelatin in this. If you're going to do a Diplomat cream with one part of this and one part of uh, heavy whipping cream, you don't need any. If you're going to do a Diplomat cream with two parts of heavy cream and one part of this for a lighter peanut butter flavor, then you will need to add some gelatin to it. You're gonna to wanna to warm it up, bloom your gelatin, melt your gelatin, stir it into this, and then fold in your, paste, or your uh, whipped cream, okay? So um, there's that. You have some gold boards, um, as promised, so you can use these little creatures to take pictures with for your petit gâteau. No, your, um, your pavlova is not gonna fit on them. Well, they could if you do small ones, I guess. So there's six of these. Use them judiciously, however you'd like. Um, so for the pain de gêne, instead of doing that, I know I said we we're going to do the almond paste cake. I'm going to put that off one more week. Um, we're going to use that for a laminated dessert next week, which will be a lot of fun. I have a little bit of chiffon cake that's already been baked off. This is the one that we made quite a while ago that was from the freezer that had been cut into small rounds, so ready to go for you to build with. Um, there's some chocolate shavings in here for garnish. I couldn't find any peanuts. I know it's like the cheapest ingredient in the entire place and I couldn't find any. So if you got any peanuts that you want to use at home, you can use those. Um, there's some extra piping bags in here as well. There's a quart of cream. I'm not going to get that out. Um, there is, um, this is the milk chocolate uh, mirror glaze that we used for our uh, milk chocolate praline entremets a little while ago. There's two small ones. I think it's enough to do all six. If it's not, at least do like two or three of them and get them coated really nice. Um, and if you need to make more, you can always scrape it up. Uh, you can also leave them bare. It's okay to enjoy. Um, so that's what I have of this for now. Um, sorry, we were a little shorthanded on that one. Um, so that's it for the peanut butter entrees. I don't know if I said it, but there's two piping bags, extra piping bags in here. That's it for the peanut butter uh, petit gâteaux. Um, I'm gonna pause this video and then we'll bounce over to the pavlova.